this is my Fukushima experience. Like many, I found out about Fukushima after it occurred. But my reason for searching for Fukushima is much different than most. While one evening in the shower, I felt my heart do something that it had never done before. And while I'm not the most healthiest person on the planet, I know I'm above the statistical average in my age group. So I decided to search for many possible environmental issues that may play a role in my heart issue. As I began to search for possible answers, I came across a host of things occurring in the world that could be the culprit of the change that I felt with inside me. I found gas leaks. I found hexavalent chromium releases. And I also found Fukushima. And that's when I knew that I didn't know and was told about it when it occurred. And why wasn't I told about the subsequent releases that came over the entire continental United States? For me, my learning of Fukushima and action thereafter have always been under the notion of why wasn't everyone, including myself, warned to stay indoors and allow the plume to pass? and not inhale the plume outside when it would have been much safer to stay inside and allow it to pass. And that's when I knew. Just like the scenario of a planet-ending comet coming to wipe us all out, and the officials, the representatives, not telling the public to ensure chaos didn't ensue. It's the same reason why they didn't tell us all to stay inside and was due to keep the panic at a minimum and nothing more. The entire United States State Department emailed each other to stay indoors, take your shoes off at the door, and shower immediately. Wash your clothes and take iodine tablets, which next time you hear somebody talking about iodine tablets, ask them about, well, where are the calcium tablets for strontium? And where are the tablets for cesium that goes into our soft tissues? Where are those pills at? The only thing an iodine pill does is it keeps the trace of how many people got ex actually exposed of the other radionuclides so that down the road, the cancers can't be attributed to any type of nuclear release. And this is true. Okay. Now, Hillary Clinton, President Obama, then Vice President, President and now President Biden, and the entire federal government all knew what they were allowing the American people to ingest into their bodies. Now this is when Obama took his entire family to South America while the entire plume came over all of the people he was supposed to represent. And he literally told everyone that we will know what he knows. Partners for disease control and prevention and public health experts do not recommend that people in the United States take precautionary measures beyond staying informed. And going forward, we will continue to keep the American people fully updated because I believe that you must know what I know as president. Here at home, nuclear power is also... And ever since, they have kept everything a secret, including the Japanese State Secret Act. Now 
Now you have to understand, after World War II, Japan became the U.S. 51st state. And the United States gained complete control of the entire country and has ever since. We'll come to find out during Operation Tomodachi, our U.S. military was sent in an entire fleet of ships. And those ships were filled with people that were downwind of every release that came from the explosions from the meltdowns occurring at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant. Those people have names. These sailor stories are eye-opening from their experience during their radioactivity and chemical exposures from the plume they were being subjected to. They came within a few miles of the coast and were needlessly being exposed to massive amounts of radiation and chemicals, gases. And finally, the captain ordered the retreat and they traveled out of the lane of the massive danger. Not only did the U.S. government and military allow our service men and women to be exposed to lethal amounts of radioactivity and chemicals, but TEPCO, the Japanese authorities, and government allowed our ships full of men and women with names, mind you, to be killed for no reason other than protect the nuclear industry and their past practice. Hillary Clinton and every representative should be behind bars for not only allowing our fathers, brothers, sisters, and mothers to be irradiated, but the entire continental U.S. and its people to be irradiated without warning and covering it up ever since. Now, for time constraints. I will begin the, the next presentation with a new video, and this will cover my inner activist and having debates here on YouTube with various people of all walks of life, some good, most bad, and one in particular, very bad. And the thing is, I'm not the only one that knows who exactly I'm talking about. And I'm going to show my experiences so you guys can understand where I'm coming from and understand who I am and understand why I am doing this for myself, my loved ones, and all of you. Thanks for watching. Bye.